Hey guys, welcome to another video with 2019 coming to a close very soon. Um, I thought this would be a good time before I do like my top 10 best of the year and my worst of the year and my number 11 list, which I usually do every year. Um, I thought this would be a good video to kind of just sit back, relax, and talk about 10 films that I'm really looking forward to in 2020. These are 10 films that are, as of this moment anyway, at the time of this video, um, are going to be released throughout the year 2020. And um, these are kind of 10 films that I'm personally looking forward to the most. And I know that there's other big films outside of these films coming out that I'm also looking forward to, and I'm sure many of you are looking forward to. But these are 10 films in, uh, specifically to me that I'm really looking forward to, whether it's the director or the subject matter or a film being remade that I'm looking forward to or a reboot that I'm looking forward to. Um, so let's just take this video to, to talk about 10 films that I'm looking forward to in 2020 that I think have a lot of potential and hopefully will be on my top 10 best of the year list if I'm lucky enough um, to have some of these films on that list towards the end of 2020 as well. So um, we're going to, as usual, for these, this kind of a video, I'll start at number 10, work my way up to number 1. As we get higher and higher on the list, these are films I'm looking forward to more and more as we progress through this list. So um, I'll start at the, kind of the, the movie that I'm looking forward to, but as we progress more and more, those are films that I'm going to be looking forward to more and more throughout 2020. So let's start at number 10. At number 10, we have Sonic the Hedgehog. This is actually a film I was looking forward to this year, but it got pushed into February of next year since everybody didn't like the design of Sonic and there was a couple things that the director of the film wanted to change before releasing this movie. So even though all that said, pushed aside, um, I'm still looking forward to this film, not clearly as much as I was last year. I think it was like number one or number two on my list last year for whatever reason. So, But I'm still looking forward to this. I'm a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan. I'm a huge video game fan. I think with Detective Pikachu doing well earlier this year, I think this is a sign that video game movies are going to finally gonna start to be good now, that they finally have the right footing for video game movies. So I'm hoping Sonic the Hedgehog will join that new trend that Detective Pikachu started, and I hope it's funny and fun and action-packed. I hope Jim Carrey plays a good Dr. Robotnik in it. I do approve of that new redesign of Sonic. I think it is a better look for the Sonic character. Um, I know there's that huge Japanese poster right now with a baby Sonic on it, so who knows what they're going to do with that. Um, so I'm hoping it's a great film. It comes out around Valentine's Day. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing with it. So it's at number 10 on my list. At number nine, we have Marvel's The Eternals. I know we have the Black Widow coming out, um, the Black Widow movie coming out later in 2020. But well, the reason why I'm looking forward to Eternals even more is because this is kind of the first true Phase Four movie. This is kind of our first taste of what Phase Four is going to be for Marvel. Um, even though Black Widow technically is a Phase Four film, it's still after Civil War but before Infinity War. So it's this kind of a film that's happened in the past that's being released during Phase Four. So Eternals for me, I'm looking forward to because it's going to be kind of our first flavor favorite first flavor of phase four sorry about that and so i'm hoping to see kind of what marvel has in mind for what phase four will be whether it's exploring new things with the characters exploring us to new characters that are kind of lesser known in the marvel universe um i from what i know about the eternals it's more so about like the gods and people who are kind of hidden among us to kind of make sure that we're doing well as a species and things like that so i'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing with it there's a lot of celebrities involved with it i think like Angelina Jolie, Salma Hayek, and um, the guy from The Big Sick, I think, has a role in this movie. Looking forward to seeing what they're doing with it. Comes out around November of 2020. Can't wait to see what Phase 4 of Marvel is going to look like. At number 8, we have Halloween Kills. I'm a huge Halloween fan. I actually really like that 2018 Halloween film that Danny McBride and David Gordon Green worked on that brought Jamie Lee Curtis back to the Laurie Strode role. Um, I'm curious to see how they're going to continue off of that 2018 Halloween movie. Um, it sounds like there's elements of Halloween 2 from the early 80s that they're going to bring into this film also. So hopefully it's not just Halloween 2 all over again. Um, but I'm curious to see what they do with it. I know they're bringing back a lot of original film characters like uh, uh, Lindsay and Tommy that Jamie Lee Curtis babysit in that first movie. I know the two of them are going to be full-grown adults in this movie. Um, I know the sheriff from the original Halloween has a role in this movie. Uh, I know the nurse from the original Halloween, who was also in Halloween H2O, has a role in this movie. So I'm just really curious to see what exactly they have in mind for this. And um, hopefully it's a great Halloween continuation for the franchise. 
At number seven, we have Mulan, the 2020 remake. Um, I love that animated Mulan film from the 90s. And I think out of all these Disney remakes we've been getting so far, I think Mulan is my most anticipated for a remake because I think you can properly remake this movie. You can make it more serious. You can have more of a crouching tiger hidden vibe to the story. You can make it more in the spirit of the original myth story that are the original um Folklore story that came out many, many years ago, obviously probably centuries ago at this point. Um, it's just a film that I'm really glad Disney's remaking. I think they could properly tell a more serious Mulan now in this day and age. Um, it just looks very awesome. I like how they filmed it on location in several parts of the world. Um, I like the cast that they assembled for this. I like that um, Jason Scott Lee from Dragon the Bruce Lee Story has a role in this. One of my all-time favorite movies. And I love Jason Scott Lee as an actor in general. So really excited for Mulan, the remake. It's at number seven on my list. At number six, we have Wonder Woman 1984, another film like Sonic that was supposed to come out in 2019 but did not. It's coming out in the summer of 2020 now, in June, I believe. Um, I'm really excited to see what they do with Wonder Woman 1984. I'm curious to see what they do with Chris Pine and how his character is kind of still around after the events of the 2017 film. They're going to have to really explain that because he kind of died. Um, so hopefully they'll explain that. Um, I'm curious to see what... Um, Diana Prince is doing in the 80s, kind of what she did before Justice League, but after Wonder Woman, kind of curious to see how she adjusts to life and adjusts to people and to, you know, working a job and things like that. So I'm really curious to see what they do with Gal Gadot in this movie as well. Uh, I really like what Patty Jenkins does as a director, so I have complete faith in her of making something interesting for this movie. Wonder Woman 1984 is at number six on my list. At number five, we have a film that's been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back forever. At one point in time, I was worried it was going to be canceled for good, but it's finally coming out. They even have the director of Tron Legacy working on it, which is a film that I really like. Another film that just took years and years and years to get made also. But it's uh, number five, we have Top Gun Maverick. I've been waiting for a Top Gun sequel forever, ever since I saw the first Top Gun, to be honest. I love that movie. It's a great 1980s fighter pilot movie. I'm finally glad it's getting a sequel. It is unfortunate that Tony Scott passed away from tragic circumstances but i'm glad they have another good director working on it now with joseph kaczynski from tron legacy fame um, i'm just really curious to see what they do with the maverick character i'm interested in seeing what they do how time has passed since the first top gun you know what exactly has happened over the last 30 years since the first top gun movie how are they going to introduce new characters what kind of action are they going to do um i heard they practically did a lot of the stuff in this movie so it is truly tom cruise in that jet doing these things in some some parts of the movie um Really curious to see what they do with Top Gun Maverick. I'm really excited to see what they can possibly do as a continuation of the franchise. How about rebooting it, introducing it to a new audience. Tons of things I'm looking forward to in this film. So at number five, we have Top Gun Maverick. At number four, we have a film that I'm really looking forward to, and it actually comes out, believe it or not, around my birthday, so just another reason to look forward to it, and that's 007, No Time to Die. It's been almost five years since the last James Bond movie. Yes, almost five years since the last James Bond movie, and that's crazy, but hopefully that means we have a spectacular Bond film this time around. I actually didn't mind Spectre. Spectre really wasn't that bad of a movie for me. I, I think just Sam Mendes is ready to do something else. I know he has that 1917 film coming out soon and stuff like that, but... Um, I think No Time to Die, I know they got Kerry Fukunaga from uh, True Detective working on it. He wrote the screenplay for the first It movie from 2017, the, the reboot of that movie. Um, I'm really excited to see what he does with James Bond. I know he's kind of one of our first American directors to work on a James Bond movie. Um, I'm just very curious to see what they do with it. It looks like they're continuing all the right stuff from Spectre in the right way. They're bringing Blofeld back, played by Christoph Waltz. They're introducing a new character, played by Rami Malek. There's just tons of cool things they're going to do with this movie, and I'm really excited to see what 007 No Time to Die has in store for us. comes in at number four on my list. At number three, we have Uncharted. Uh, once again, going back to the video game movies discussion, I hope this film, like Detective Pikachu, is another great video game movie. I know they have Tom Holland as a young Nathan Drake in this movie. They have Mark Wahlberg playing his dad in this movie. Believe it or not, everybody wanted Mark Wahlberg to play Nathan Drake at one point in this movie, so him playing the dad of Nathan Drake is also very appropriate for me. They got the director of a Bumblebee working on this movie. There's just a ton of things I'm looking forward to about it. I, I like how, from what I know about it, they're going to practically film a lot 
lot of things in it. They're going to go into international locations, and we're going to see Nathan Drake doing stuff as a young man, collecting artifacts with his dad and things like that, as far as what I know about it and things like that. Uh, so it's at number three on my list. I hope it's another great video game movie. Uncharted is number three on the list. At number two, we have a film I'm really, really looking forward to. And every time I see footage from it, I'm looking forward to it more and more. That's Christopher Nolan's next film, Tenet. Tenet will be about a espionage thriller. It'll be it will involve time travel. It'll involve agents who are a part of this nuclear holocaust of some kind, or it's all the trailer says it is. Um, I like the mystery behind this film. I kind of like how it has a Jason Bourne slash Contagion kind of vibe to it. Um, I like how Christopher Nolan, he's given us the goods of things that he's always good at while also exploring something new like he always does in his movies. So I'm really curious and excited to see what Christopher Nolan does with his espionage thriller in Tenet. It's number two on my list. At number one, we have the film that I am 100% absolutely excited to watch i wish i could just sit down and watch it right now i'm just that excited for it and that's disney and pixar's summer release in soul soul looks like an amazing original great movie that i hope has great characters and great concepts and great voice acting and great animation and just everything about it just looks so awesome right now um, i know they have that other film in the spring called onward really looking forward to that also but i am really looking forward to soul i think soul has the potential to be one probably one of their best films if they handle it the right way i just think the idea behind it just finding how personalities come to be and how we're individuals and how we are different from one another. It just has so many ambitious, great things about it that I hope Pixar explores to the fullest. They got the director of Inside Out working on it, which was also an original film from them. I'm just super excited for Soul. I can't wait to see what Disney and Pixar do with it. I hope it's an amazing film, hopefully one of my best films of 2020 when I get around to seeing it. And it's my number one most anticipated film of 2020. So though that's my top 10, you guys. I know I missed out on a couple of bigger titles that I'm also looking forward to. I know like Black Widow comes out soon. Ghost, um, Ghostbusters Afterlife comes out soon. Free Guy is another film I'm looking forward to. I know all those films are great films that I'm also looking forward to, but these are the 10 that I'm looking forward to the most. Let me know down below in the comments section what films you guys are looking forward to. Hope you enjoyed this top 10 list, and I'll see you guys here for the next video.